So in the energy medicine world, we would say that if you have a physical imbalance, it has already gone through several of your subtle bodies to get there. Let me explain. If you were projecting an image on the wall, so you had a project projector and you're projecting an image on a screen or a wall and you see something in the way, you would never go up to the screen and try to clean it or wash it, right? You'd go back to the projector, look at the lens, see if there's a piece of dust or a fly or whatever, remove it so that your image that you're projecting is clear. So in that example, the human body is the screen and the projector is the subtle bodies, energetic bodies, um, mental and emotional, energetic, that if you um, ignore something, goes through your mental body, emotional body, and then you don't really want to look at it, it can then manifest in the physical body. So if we have illnesses, and most people would say that 90% of physical imbalances uh, come from stress, which means that if it manifests in the physical body, it's gone through all these other layers, and then it's now like a red flag, like, hello, look at me, there's something to look at here, not just in a physical sense, but also what the root cause is. So what are the emotional patterns or the thought patterns that have led up to that uh, imbalance in the physical body? So if you get a headache or you get a stomach ache or you get sick, and it's not say like externally produced like food poisoning, it would be an external source, if it comes from inside, then it's actually a blessing because you can then do the work of asking yourself, oh, what is actually happening in my subconscious or in my energetic bodies that I haven't been wanting to look at or haven't seen, I've been aware, unaware of, that I can now go back and do the work to uproot that cause so that it doesn't have to manifest in my physical body. And one of the ways that you can work with uprooting those emotional and mental patterns 